you have to always mm -hmm. remember to keep it neutral. You can't yeah. be biased and you can't prejudge someone because you never know. You know, yeah. you never know by someone's appearance what they have yes, sort of way. Definitely. If they've worked, you know, their whole life to get this one purchase that they're coming in for. Yes. And again, why it's important to be, again, personal with that person because again, this could be a big purchase for them. So, so you don't judge people by appearance. You don't judge people when they walk in. You just like you just do your thing. Everyone gets treated the same way because at the end of the day, you never know. And you don't want to be on the flip side of that coin and then be the customer that you get treated unfairly because of you know whatever reason. So at the end of the day, everyone deserves that respect. But more importantly, again, you don't ever know. So you want to treat everyone the same. Okay. So how do you know if somebody's cheap? Someone's cheap? Yeah. You'll get it off the start. Everything everything becomes price focused. And depending on what you're selling, I mean, it can be different. So from car sales to insurance sales, Insurance is easier because how do you know someone's cheap when they tell you that they want the bare minimum on everything? So it's just a matter of, you know, they'll let you know. They'll let you know firsthand what they're looking for. And when it becomes about money, they'll let you know right from the start. Okay. So when they talk about money, then you know, like they're cheap or when they tell you the they want the basic price. What do you mean? Like, let's say you got three packages. And if they say they want the least package, the basic price, instead of the premium or the gold package, then you know like they're cheap or... Not necessarily. It could be that they don't know the products on there. They yeah. may just be trying to go with the cheapest because they don't really know. But then that's what when you come in and you explain you know, yeah. what it includes, what they can get for it. And again, you try to find something that works for them. Obviously, yes, you don't want to you gotta work with them. Out. Yes, Exactly. So at the end of the day... It's not always about how much you can make out of them, but yes. you know, getting them something that they need without yes. obviously charging them an arm and a leg for it. Yeah. Because again, at the end of the day, both parties need to win. So, yes. See, what you just said right now is like the truth because a lot of um, people, they always want to win. They always want to upsell people and get them what they want to get. But you have to let the client get what the client gets and whatever they can afford. Right. I think part of that as well, though, is that when it comes to like insurance, a lot, a lot of people don't know what they have. A lot of people don't know what they need. So at the end of the mm. day, it becomes your job to let them know and, and guide them through the process as to explaining what they need and in terms of, you know, where they're at in their life and what they need coverage for, what they can, you know, save on. And at the end of the day, you tailor it to them to give them something that, you know, works for them for both budget and coverage. And again, if you need to make adjustments and, you know, that's what you're there for, to advise that. So. So is it good, would you say it's good to like advise clients and like kind of like tell them like, you know, like educate them as a sense. Cause like, cause like me with my, uh, with my, with my business. Quick second, Bebes, Beb, can you grab my jacket? Oh, perfect, sorry. I, I forgot I left my jacket in there. No, you, you're good. She got you. She got you. <laughs> Figuring out what their needs are. Because sometimes the customer doesn't know what they want. They don't know what they need. So at the end of the day, it's your job to figure that out for them. And obviously, ah. try to get them something that they can afford, obviously. Mm. But at the end of the day, it's your job to understand the customer, what they want, what they need. Mm. And then providing that for them.